Today, we're diving into a topic that's got me seriously confused lately, my birthday. So what am I talking about? Well, I just had a birthday. I think I just had a birthday. I celebrated it, but honestly, I don't even know if it counts anymore because I learned there's a big difference between my biological age and my chronological age. So what's the difference? Your chronological age is the number of birthdays you've had, like basically what's on your driver's license. But your biological age, and that is what really matters, is how old your body is on a cellular level. Mark, the research in this area has gone on for at least three decades. Elizabeth Blackburn won the Nobel Prize for first discovering telomeres and their role in aging, senescence, and cell death. The shorter your telomeres, the worse things are. We're not following that as much anymore because it doesn't respond quite as accurately to good diet, for example, but we are looking at methyl DNA clocks and then perhaps most excitingly, a blood test that tells us how are you aging going forward? This is called the Dunedin pace of aging. The scoring is basically right now from the world's leader 0.53 up to 1.5. You want to be less than one, clearly. We're not quite immortal, but we're working on it. So you can change your biological age as well through the intersection of longevity medicine, biohacking, and consciousness.